Michael Swisher Squirtle with Coach Brady Hamer. Uh, Coach, they just keep getting easier and easier, don't they? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, there's nothing easy about that. Uh, I, it was a crazy game. We played well. I thought Frontier played extremely well. I'll say this, and no disrespect to any teams we played, I think Frontier is as good as any team we played all year, and that includes tournament champions. Yeah. Uh, they're outstanding, unbelievably coached, and uh, it's just an incredible win for our girls. Now the girls pull it out 60-57 to 57 to win your third consecutive Class A state championship. And, and before we get to the title game, let's talk about yesterday. Um, you know, Karchi, uh, I, you know, really just went above and beyond. I thought they played an, an exceptional game against you guys and took you to the limit, took you to double overtime before you were able to pull that game out. Were you worried at all about what that game physically might have done to you today going against a team like, like Frontier who can get up and down as well? Yeah, there's no doubt. We were thinking about that as, as we kind of pulled ahead in that second overtime. We kind of talked about it, man, and we looked exhausted, you know, on the floor. And uh, if you know the mental toughness though, of, of our players, that group of girls right there, you just interviewed some of them. Um, they're tougher than nails, and, I, and I, if, if there was anybody that knew could do it, it would be them, yeah. and um, they kind of bounced back pretty quick. Uh, Rayleigh yesterday had a horrible game. Yeah. Probably, I'll just say, probably the worst game of her career. She's one for 15, two points. She was upset, and talk about guts to come out and do what she just did in the state championship game is unbelievable yeah. by her. 30, 32 points in the state title game, you know, if, if – if you woke up today and I told you that you were going to get 32 points from, from Rayleigh, how would you have felt coming into this oh, game? I would, it would make me feel way better than I felt coming into the game. I know that. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, back to yesterday, uh, Okarchi, of course, coached by Kelly Jennings, who played for you at Sealing. And I know you guys had a little bit of a moment there, uh, you know, shaking hands after the game. Uh, can you share w what you said to her? I mean, it, I, I know that she took the loss really hard, but it seemed like you were very encouraging to her well, after the win. i tell you what, um, for a young coach, she's doing an incredible job. She did an incredible job this whole year with them. Um, I'm super proud of her. I, I'll, I'll say it right now, and I told her that she outcoached me. She, the, her players seemed to outplay us most of the game. Um, luckily, we just had some players step up and hit big shots at the right time. So they definitely deserve that. Um, it, it was a special moment. Like I said, I hurt for her, and you know, that's what I told her. I said, you know, and she'd be the same way for me. Super good uh, coach, and where she's headed, I think, is, in, in, is a good situation for Okarchi. Well, I heard her tell you at the end of that to go get the gold ball, and you did that three in a row. But, uh, you know, coming in, you knew today would be a tough game. You know how well prepared they were going to be under Coach Smith. You know, to, to you, what was the difference in today's game? Well, I mean, definitely we could say Rayleigh Toughest. Yeah. Uh, I know it looked like early that's part of their plan was that they were going to let her shoot, cover up Macy and Carly. And uh, she stepped out, hit the first one of the game, I think was huge. You yeah. know, if that first one doesn't go in, you know, maybe her confidence, she ducks her head a little bit. But she nails the first one, and you could see it in her eyes. And then from then on, you know, she played extremely well and just kind of got us going at that point. Um, you know, if shots don't fall early, as good as they are in scoring, you can get in a real big bind against Frontier. How tough, I mean, you only lose one game this season, but you play it obviously all year with the bullseye on your back. Um, you played a, a really tough schedule. Uh, the tournament champions, you lose one game to 6A uh, Owasso, and uh, really, you know, that was just a three point loss. But how tough, how much of a grind was this season, uh, season for you guys? You know, it definitely was. Uh, we just talked. Carly told her dad, and we were kind of laughing about it earlier, that she goes, whoa, Daddy said, this is a lot different than last year. You know, and I think we came into it, um, even though we were ranked number one last year, I really felt like the girls didn't feel like they had that expectation of people saying, hey, you got to go win it. And um, this year she said that. She said, you know, it feels like a little bit of pressure, uh, and everybody seemed to get up for you, which, yeah. which I understand, and um, they're going to do that, and they'll do that again next year. So it, it was a lot of pressure, I think, just from what's happened in the past couple of years. Um Next year, I know I know you like to guarantee state championships. I asked you two years ago if we were going to win two in a row, and last year three in a row. But, uh, you know, you've got a good group coming back. you got a couple of decent players back on the roster. But I know you need to go enjoy this one, but you got to already be excited about 2018-2019. Oh, I am. We're excited about it. we got four good seniors that we're going to lose, um, two starters of those girls, and they played a credible night. Uh, Peyton Day had a – I don't know how many offensive rebounds. It seemed like a ton. Uh, her and Riley both defended so well. But, you know, we do got some good players coming back. And you know what I'm going to say. I'm not guaranteeing anything. Yeah. But we're going to come back excited, ready to go. And we got some younger kids ready to step in for those four seniors that are, that are excited about their opportunity. Well, and uh, I know uh, Frontier's got a lot back, too, so maybe we'll be seeing a sequel next year. But go enjoy this one, Coach. Again, Coach Brady Hamer, the three-time state champion, Sealing Lady Cats.